Back here in the Sunshine State, Ron DeSantis is officially Florida's new governor. The former Republican congressman took his oath in front of the state capitol building in Tallahassee today, and tonight they were celebrating at the inauguration ball. Local 10's Glenna Milberg was there for it all tonight, and she's joining us live now with changes already underway. Glenna. Calvin Laurie, even as the governor celebrated at that inaugural ball with about 1600 of his closest political friends, the moves that he has already been making are in the works. Florida's new governor has some moves at the inaugural ball and already at the Capitol. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In a noontime ceremony, Ron DeSantis took the oath of office and framed his conservative governing mission. As he celebrated, trending on Twitter, reports he'd already removed Broward Sheriff Scott Israel under fire for failing to stop the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. Those reports are wrong. Jump the gun from rumors in the sheriff's politically charged office. Sheriff Israel tells Local 10 he's had no contact from the governor yet, and the governor told us this. Will that be taking Broward Sheriff Scott Israel out of office? There will be um, uh, executive actions on uh, potentially a number of local officials uh, within um, a relatively short time. Andrew Pollock, whose daughter was one of those murdered at Douglas High, says he plans to be there when, not if it happens. Now that he got elected, we're going to see some accountability. What the governor will be doing Wednesday, naming the first of an eventual three choices for Supreme Court justice in Miami, which means it's one of these Miami applicants, a former federal prosecutor and two appellate judges. The announcement held at the Freedom Tower, the so-called Ellis Island of the 60s for Cuban refugees, may hint at the governor's choice is Cuban American. Also tomorrow, the governor will be going to Mexico Beach, Florida after Miami. That is, you remember, some of the worst hit neighborhoods from Hurricane Michael last year, and the governor will be checking up on recovery efforts there. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Tallahassee tonight, Local 10 News. First on the agenda, remembering the storm victims. Glenna, thanks a lot.